What's up everyone, welcome to Film Spot, and today we will be talking about best upcoming movies. The countdown to the new DCU launch is ticking, and the excitement is building fast, especially with a brand new image of Superman and his loyal companion Crypto. Shared by James Gunn himself, the picture shows Clark Kent and Crypto gazing at Earth from the moon, a striking visual of hero and sidekick. In his Instagram post, Gunn reveals that Crypto was inspired by his own dog, Ozu, who he adopted while working on the Superman script. This heartwarming detail adds a personal touch to Crypto's story, which stretches back to 1955, when the Superdog made his debut in Adventure Comics number 210. Like Superman, Crypto hails from Krypton, possessing the same incredible powers, super strength, lightning fast speed, sharp senses, and yes, heat vision. This cosmic canine was originally sent into space on a test rocket by Superman's father, only to accidentally land on Earth and become the Man of Steel's loyal sidekick. By bringing Crypto into the film, Gunn is spotlighting lesser-known DC characters, and that's just the beginning. The movie will feature a star-studded cast of characters, including Lois Lane, Lex Luthor, Mr. Terrific, and even Green Lantern. Will Gunn juggle them all successfully while keeping the focus on Superman? We'll find out when the film soars into theaters on July 11th, 2025. Mission Impossible 8 is set to pick up right where Dead Reckoning Part 1 left off, and it promises to be Ethan Hunt's most dangerous mission yet. With details of the plot still tightly under wraps, fans are eagerly speculating what death-defying stunts Tom Cruise has in store this time. After all, this franchise is known for pushing boundaries, and expectations for Mission Impossible 8 are sky high. When it hits theaters in May 2025, Ethan will be facing a nearly impossible task, hunting down The Entity, a rogue AI that has already cost his team dearly. Dead Reckoning Part 1 left us with a heart-pounding cliffhanger, one of Ethan's team members dead, and a desperate race to stop others from weaponizing the dangerous AI. With a Russian submarine wreck and global powers in play, Ethan's mission is as intense as ever. In the latest production update, Simon Pegg has officially wrapped his scenes as Benji Dunn, marking a major milestone in the film's lengthy production journey. Pegg reflected on the four-year process that began with Dead Reckoning Part 1, teasing that the upcoming film will be an incredible spectacle. With lingering mysteries and questions about key characters still unanswered, Mission Impossible 8 is shaping up to be one of the most anticipated blockbusters of 2025. Can Ethan Hunt pull off the ultimate save? We'll find out soon. Ready or Not 2 is officially on its way, and fans are buzzing with excitement, not just for the return of Samara Weaving's Grace, but also for the possibility of a long-teased crossover with Melissa Barrera's character from Abigail. Directors Matt Batinelli Olpin and Tyler Gillette, who have cemented their status as modern horror maestros with the original Ready or Not in 2019, have now set the stage for an expanded horror universe that could tie together their films. The first Ready or Not was a wildly fun thriller, following Grace as she battles her way through a deadly game of hide-and-seek with her husband's twisted family. The film's dark humor, inventive scares, and gripping action helped launch the directing duo into the spotlight, eventually leading them to helm Scream and Scream 6. Now they're back to direct Ready or Not 2, and expectations are sky high. But here's where things get even more intriguing. In their 2024 vampire heist film Abigail, a clever easter egg hinted at a shared universe between the two franchises, a portrait of an ancestor of the Ladomas family appeared in the film teasing a potential connection between Grace's in-laws and Barrera's character Abigail. Though Abigail didn't perform well at the box office, its ending left fans hopeful for more, and now Ready or Not 2 could deliver on that promise. Spider-Man 4 is officially moving forward at Marvel Studios, with Shang-Chi director Destin Daniel Cretton at the helm and production likely kicking off early next year. While many details remain a mystery, such as its release date, plot, or if it will continue the multiversal theme, one thing is certain, excitement is building fast. In a recent interview on the Rich Roll podcast, Tom Holland shared an update on the script, revealing that writers Chris McKenna and Eric Summers have a compelling idea in place. We have a creative and a pitch and a draft, which is excellent, Holland said. Though he acknowledged the script still needs work, his enthusiasm was clear. Zendaya and I sat down and read it together, and we were bouncing around the living room, he added, fueling anticipation for the next chapter of Spider-Man's story. Though it sounds like Spider-Man 4 is on track for an early 2025 shooting date, Holland emphasized that the film is part of a larger puzzle within the MCU's Phases 5 and 6. 
Disney has two open slots for unannounced Marvel movies in 2026, sparking speculation that one could be reserved for Spider-Man 4. Could this next Spidey adventure tie directly into the upcoming Avengers Secret Wars? While it's too early to say, fans are sure to be on the lookout for clues in Marvel's upcoming slate of projects. The Warrens are back for one final spine-chilling adventure in The Conjuring Last Rites. Filming has officially begun on what promises to be the climactic chapter of this iconic horror franchise. Set to release on September 5th, 2025, Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga return as Ed and Lorraine Warren, once again diving into the world of paranormal terror. Joining them are Ben Hardy from X-Men Apocalypse and Mia Tomlinson from The Beast Must Die, with Michael Chavez, director of The Nun 2, The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, directing. The script, penned by David Leslie Johnson McGoldrick, who also wrote The Conjuring 2, is shrouded in secrecy, but fans can expect another thrilling case from the real-life files of the Warrens. James Wan and Peter Safran, the masterminds behind the franchise, are back to produce, ensuring that The Conjuring Last Rites will deliver the scares we've come to expect. This ninth installment in The Conjuring universe marks the grand finale for Ed and Lorraine on the big screen. With successful spin-offs like Annabelle and The Nun, the franchise has become a horror powerhouse, and Last Rites aims to bring the saga to a terrifying close. Additionally, The Conjuring Universe is expanding to TV, with a series in development for Max. Stay tuned for more updates as the Warrens prepare for their final ghostly encounter. Tom Holland is proving that he's a changed man when it comes to keeping Marvel secrets, and it's clear he's taking his new responsibility seriously. In a recent appearance on the Rich Roll podcast, Holland revealed that he's been in the loop about one of the MCU's biggest casting surprises, Robert Downey Jr.'s return as Doctor Doom. While fans were shocked by the news when it was announced at San Diego Comic-Con 2024, Holland knew about it well beforehand and managed to keep it under wraps. I've been speaking to Robert Downey Jr. a lot, especially about him making his return, which is super exciting, Holland said. The notoriously leak-prone actor admitted that holding on to that secret was tough, comparing the weight of the knowledge to a burden only Thanos could understand. That was a tough secret to sit on, because I have a reputation for ruining things, and I strategically have done no press, Holland joked. With Avengers Doomsday slated for a May 1st, 2026 release, and Spider-Man 4 in development, there's growing speculation about a potential Spider-Man and Doctor Doom crossover. Holland's enthusiasm for the Spider-Man 4 script, which he recently read with Zendaya, has fans wondering if the next film might feature some exciting surprises. Perhaps even a clash with the MCU's new Doctor Doom. While Holland is keeping the details close to the vest, it's clear Tony Stark's former protege has learned how to be a true vault of secrets. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.